Now, how can you fix the auto clause of your apps on the Android? So what we mean by that is that sometimes you are inside of an app and it just closes it automatically or you don't even know why it happens, but it just closes. Well, in order to fix that, we need to approach it from all of the different angles. So the first thing would be to open up the Play Store and look up whether or not the app has an update available. So just type in the name of that particular app, especially the one you have some problems with and ensure it doesn't have some update available. So yeah, just install it and you'll, you'll be good to go. Outside of that, pay attention to the way that you are holding the phone because a lot of times it just happens automatically and accidentally by you pressing the button right there on the side of your phone and it just closes the app because you clicked it but you may not realize it, right? So this is something that people have in mind. Then also what could be causing the problem is that there is a back tap feature, right? So there is a feature of some phones, actually most of them, where you can double or triple tap the back side of the phone the device recognizes it and then it can perform some actions and it would make sense to turn this off or at least make sure that it doesn't interfere with your apps so inside of settings you can look up the uh, back tap right there so you can find it if you have it and if not i on my galaxy device it works a bit different so i have to set it up through an app called good luck from samsung and there I can actually set it up in here. So there is the Reggie Star kind of like extension or whatever you want to call it. And there is the back tap feature. So you can just turn it on and decide that something else is going to uh, appear, right? So when you double tap, it might be click on the back button and close the apps. And that might not be ideal for you. So that would be something to keep in mind and ensure that nothing happens like that. Other than that, make sure you also update your entire operating system and restart your phone to eliminate possible glitches in the software. But other than that, you should be good to go. There isn't really much else that you should have in mind. Subscribe for more guides and let me know if this has fixed your issue. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later.